I'm Lisa with J. Andre All Natural Cosmetic Sponges. Now that you've purchased your gourd shaped sponge, I'm going to show you some great ways to get the most out of your products and some great techniques on how to get the most out of your sponge. Okay, great. Now we're ready to start using your gourd sponge for application. So I've removed all the makeup from my face and I've dampened my gourd shaped sponge. So you just want to find a foundation that's going to match your skin tone the best. I'm going to start by using the tapered end of the gourd sponge and dip it in my makeup. I'm going to start by going around my eyes and down my nose to cover the harder to reach spots of my face. Now the best way to use the sponge is to bounce it or stipple it against your skin. This is going to make sure you get seamless, flawless coverage. When you do this, you actually want to just slightly push to make sure that the makeup is going where you apply it. Now, with the wider, more dense end of the sponge, we're just going to dip it in our makeup. And don't worry about covering the bottom. It'll be fine. We're just going to use that bouncing motion all over our face to cover the larger areas. I always go down my chin. And don't forget around your hairline. Just again, using that bouncing motion, which is going to give you a flawless face. Now I'm going to focus on the one half of my face just so you can see um, the difference. Um, I prefer a fuller coverage, so I'm going to go back in and just get a little bit of a fuller coverage in the areas that I need it. Now another great thing about your sponge is by going back to the tapered end, you can also use it for concealer. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of a concealing product and just bounce it right under my eyes. And I also get red, so I'm going to go right down the side of my nose. If you have any blemishes that you feel like you need extra coverage on, just again, bounce the point right against it. And it's going to make sure that you have um, seamless coverage as well as that there's no lines. All right, so you can see this half of my face um, we've applied foundation to and it's flawless and there's no lines. So the next thing that's great about your sponge is you can actually um, allow it to help you with contouring your face. So I'm going to do a dramatic contour in this video to show you um, you know, how you should do the blending and things like that. I'm going to use these stick concealing markers or pens to show you how to do this. So contouring is really big right now and everyone loves it. So with this, I'm going to show you how to you know, work with your face shape. It's going to give you more dimension. Um, it's going to make you look thinner, which is great as well. It's also going to brighten up your eyes. So with my lighter color, you're going to need two colors, a lighter one and a darker one, each a few shades off from your natural skin tone. So with this, and you're going to look crazy at first, but bear with me, it's really going to pay off in the end. I'm going to draw a triangle down my nose, up my cheekbones, and under my eyes to a point. Color this in just a little bit, right under my chin as well, on my lips, down the center of my nose, and up here. Again, I'm just going to do half my face so you'll be able to see the difference. All right, now with the darker one, I'm going to put a couple marks right on my temples and up my hairline, and then right in the hollows of where my cheek is. Um, if you need to, you can contour your nose as well by just drawing a line down. And then under your lips, this is going to make your lips pure fuller. Okay, now back to your sponge. So with your damp sponge, we're just going to blend this all out so we lose any lines um, and it just looks natural. So I'm going to start with the lighter colors and just bounce, 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 bounce to just blend in the lines. You can see the sponge is going to do all the work and it's going to get rid of any lines that you've drawn on. Just by bouncing it along your face. And I know you still look crazy but we're going to, it's going to pay off. Um, and then again in your hairline just bouncing it, bouncing it against those darker colors just to make sure it's seamless and under your cheekbone. So under your cheekbone is really popular. It's going to hollow your face out again, make you look thinner. You just want to make sure that, again, there's no lines. And then I just use at the end when I'm done, just use the flat end and just bounce it around again. 
make sure everything's covered and blended together. Awesome. So you can see the difference in my face. There's a big difference. Um, so now with your sponge as well, we're also going to set it with a powder. You can use with your sponge a loose translucent powder, a pressed translucent powder, whatever you need. I'm going to use kind of the side of the pointed end and just run it in my translucent powder and just bounce it along my face to kind of distribute the powder. Again, just using that bouncing motion, I'm just going to bounce it off. This is going to set your makeup. It's also going to make sure you remain shine free all day. And this is just a translucent powder, so it doesn't go over anything that we've done with the contouring or a foundation. And always down your neck. And then just one more under my eyes. And I just do one more layer where I tend to get shiny just so I don't have to touch up all day. Now that we've gotten a full face, we've contoured our face, I'm also just going to, for one last step, apply a blush. Your sponge can be used for liquid foundation, cream foundation, powder, or mousse. Um, same with all your other products you use, your concealer, your setting powder, as well as your blush. Um, again, with the tapered end, I'm just going to get it in my blush. And with this, I'm just going to kind of roll it along my skin to apply it. I do mine right on my cheekbones and then back into my hairline, just a little bit more of a dramatic look. It thins my face out, it will yours too. Awesome, so now just one more time with the flat end, I'm just gonna bounce it around to make sure there's no lines. There you go. So now you can see on the one half of my face, we have used the sponge for foundation, for concealer, for doing a dramatic contour as well as applying blush and setting powder. So your sponge is incredibly versatile. For other videos on how to dampen your sponge, how to clean your sponge, as well as other how-to videos, please visit us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, um, and of course always visit jandresponges.com for more information and more videos.